have I waited, and now I have you exactly where I want you. Right here, right now, in this place, with I, Sheev Palpatine, Darth Sidious, Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic, and of course, the true Emperor of the Galactic Empire. can do is listen. Listen as I recount my life's story, as I demonstrate the unparalleled breadth of my power, unlimited power, and know that I, whether in flesh or in spirit, I'll never relinquish my limitless control over the galaxy. So get comfortable and prepare yourself for the truth. A story on a scale the Jedi would not even begin to consider telling you. It was 82 years before the Battle of Yavin when I, young Sheev, entered this world. Born on Naboo to House Palpatine, I shortly became a studied collector of dark side artifacts from all over the galaxy. Such things merely hinted at the power of the dark side, the potential of the Sith, yet I knew that there was no other way for me. As a young man, I became apprentice to a master who would teach me exactly what I needed to usurp him. A master by the name of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Have you ever heard his tale? I thought not, for obvious reasons. But to make a long story short, he ultimately created his own downfall, possessing both an incredible power to give life to others and a complete inability to preserve it for himself. Ironic, if you ask me. But long before his ironic end, Plagueis bestowed upon me my greatest title, Darth Sidious. Though as proud as I was, as certain of my future as I was, I of course knew that obtaining unlimited power would not be simple. So I installed myself in the government of Naboo, starting as its ambassador in the Galactic Senate and amassing more and more control as the years went on. As it turns out, I love democracy. See, not even the greatest Jedi is capable of seeing through such a simple, obvious scheme. In fact, one very important Jedi was gullible enough, or perhaps I should say eager enough to play right into my hands. From an early age up until the fulfillment of his destiny, the supposedly legendary Jedi Anakin Skywalker was practically a Sith apprentice without even realizing it. But before his official 
allegiance to the dark side came into effect, I was master to other inferior yet equally instrumental Sith apprentices, Darth Maul and Darth Tyrannus. Maul showed great potential, but ultimately met his demise, in dispute though it may be, at the hands of a pathetic Jedi who will later receive exactly what he deserved. <laughs> Regardless, the end of his time as apprentice marked the beginning of my time as Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic. Nothing could stop me from marching towards my destiny. Tyrannus, publicly known as Count Dooku, was an even shorter-lived apprentice who wasted nearly all his life as a misguided Jedi Master. But despite his history of mistakes, he did two very important things correctly. First, he helped trigger the war that would ensure my control of the Senate. Second, he sacrificed himself Unwillingly, perhaps, <laughs> giving young Anakin an essential taste of revenge. Even in the early days of his embrace of the dark side, Anakin was quite easily manipulated, foolishly believing that I would help save his lover from a very necessary death. This belief was critically important in triggering his anger when it occurred, giving him focus, making him stronger. But even before that, he swore allegiance to me and became my third my most effective apprentice, Darth Vader. With absolute political power and the most promising Jedi in the galaxy directly under my thumb, the time came to wipe the Jedi out. All of them. With only three words, Execute Order 66, the Jedi threat was annihilated, nearly made extinct in a matter of hours. And at that moment, I fulfilled my destiny, becoming Emperor of the Galactic. Empire. I had become the most powerful, most important figure in the whole of the galaxy. Yet even with their numbers whittled down to practically nothing, the Jedi had yet to be snuffed out entirely. Luckily, they were no match for my designs, my innovations, my nearly unfailing plans. <laughs> Under my rule, the galaxy shuddered before my unthinkable military power. It bowed before my undeniable will and the execution of my plans by the ominous masked figure of Lord Vader was almost entirely satisfactory. For a time, the Sith ruled the galaxy, and we had peace. Perhaps the most iconic symbol 
was the Death Star, an enormous fully armed battle station with the firepower to erase entire planets from existence. It was so imposing, so terrifying, that mere rumors of its existence apparently triggered a new uprising of fools. These fools, these so-called rebels, try as they might, could not stop the Galactic Empire, but I will admit they truly did make an attempt. After exploiting an unfortunate design flaw and taking the Death Star out of commission, they celebrated almost as if my rule had been ended. They could not have been more wrong. The Empire, as it always shall, struck back. In the wake of the Death Star's demise, Death Star 2 began to take shape. Far larger and far more powerful than its predecessor, it was the ultimate representation of the Empire's limitless potential, a perfect announcement of the never-ending reign of the Sith. But despite the power it represented, I will admit that not all went according to plan. One of the leaders of the rebellion that sought to end my rule was none other than the son of Vader, a young fool named Luke Skywalker. And though his grasp of the Force was no match for mine, I underestimated the latent unsavory traits present within his father. To my great disdain, Vader had not truly been fully devoted to the dark side, and was easily swayed by the cringeworthy good intentions of his worthless offspring. I had nearly convinced young Skywalker of the dark side's worth when he inexplicably chose to spare his father the very enemy he'd sworn to defeat. And somehow this insipid gesture inspired Vader to abandon his fealty to the perfect empire, viciously attacking me in defense of his powerless, futureless son. The purposeless shell of a man who would go on to assist the revival of the Empire through sheer incompetence. And though many believe that my reign ended as Vader threw my body through the hole of the Death Star, I can assure you that it was only just always been here, always been watching, and always shall be the ultimate ruler of the galaxy, no matter what form I may take. Everything that has transpired has done so according to my design, even if a few interruptions may have reshaped the path, and no matter what happens in the future, whether days or centuries from now, my rule will not be snuffed out. Destiny will call on me to use my power to exact my revenge write this galaxy's history, and I 
will.